Hey guys, it's Jordan again with a, another cool little vintage repair. This is a, an RCA EMP 2L, I think. Uh, I can't remember. Let's look at the little tag. What the tag should tell you. Yeah, it's the one EMP 2L. It's a cool little portable record player. It's a famous one tube wonder. Let me just get the chassis down in here. Excuse me. Put this down for a second. There we go. And um, these ha usually have a very high output cartridge and a single 25L6 uh, that's in series with the motor. They got a 90 volt motor and a 25L6 to make it 110 or 115 volts. And it's a four speed changer. Uh, it's got a new idler on it. I clean and lube the sparing, which freezes, clean and lube the motor. Um, and so somebody had previously put in a uh, tetrad here. They literally just drilled the arm out. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look shoddy. I mean, it looks it looks reasonably done. I mean, he's got the mount. He's got uh, all sorts of other stuff here. He's even got a little loading resistor back here. But uh, it didn't play very loud because obviously uh, half a volt tetrad ain't going to do much. So, uh, what I did was, this is the interesting work, there's a little preamplifier that you can buy on Parts Express, made by a company called Chemo, and it's a pretty high gain, it's like a factor of 10 gain, and it's variable voltage from 9 to 24 volts. It's the M040N, just Google Chemo M040N, it's a little manual thing. It even supports um, uh, bilateral input if you want a balanced input for a powered mic or something. Anyway, I have that here wired up to the Tetrad, and then here is a simple 15 volt regulated supply. This transformer uh, this is an 18 volt transformer, no center tap, so that just comes out into the bridge rectifier, filters, a thousand microfarad. I've got a 5.6 ohm resistor to the input of the uh, uh, regulator as kind of a safety in case there's a short circuit or something. And then the output of the 15 volt regulator feeds this directly. And then the output of the preamp, uh, I feed through a piece of coax to the amplifier which I've recapped and all that sort of thing. So uh, it helped that I had the transformer and other stuff on hand but that could be very easily built and then all I did was drill out under the platter for the screws and the hardware to hold everything together. There's just a couple of terminal strips. So it actually sounds pretty good. Um, I use the internal equalization of the RCA amp and just feed a direct signal into it. Uh, and I also took the, uh, somebody had busted out the, the 45 thing in the center, so I just removed the rest of the plastic and uh, put a, I have a makeshift little adapter thing if they want it, but otherwise this works fine. So what I'm going to do is just demonstrate how well it works. Turn my bench on here. Turn the fan off so that you can not have to listen to the noise. It's not really hot yet. And so I'm just going to plug this thing in. And turn it on. Let it warm up. And then let's see here. Just got some mamas and papas. And... We don't have to turn it up all the way to here. You only have to turn it up about halfway, maybe two thirds. Takes a while for the 25L6 to warm up. There we go. So let's turn it up all the way. And then I'll let you guys hear it with the Tetrad. Actually, it gets pretty loud. Monday, Monday. 
So it's good, good volume, good tonal quality. The Tetrad definitely tracks a lot lighter than what was in there. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with you today, uh, just as a little hobbyist type thing. And I know that these high output ceramic and crystal cartridges aren't available anymore. So I just thought I'd show that as an alternative uh, to putting that in, in together. So that way you don't have to hunt down a, a crystal cartridge. Now, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. There's really nothing more to it than just a separate regulated supply. And I fed the primary of the 18 volt transformer. I tied one side directly to the uh, interlock plug and the other side uh, to the low side of the power switch. So it turns on with everything else. It's not running all the time. But uh, anyway, hope this is useful to you. If you've got one of these that you want to retrofit with a high output or a low output cartridge rather and still have decent sound and volume, just add a little preamp to it. And uh, I had to change the loading resistor that he had originally had here. Originally, it was a, I want to say it was a 150K or something. And I actually stepped it down to a 47K to load the little preamp down. Otherwise, some frequencies were kind of distorted. So uh, 47K shunting the input uh, to the preamp made it sound actually really good. So uh, thanks for watching the video. More unique and interesting stuff to come soon.